Welcome to Block 10 of our Celebrating the States Block of the Month. This is the Kansas Block, also known as the Kansas Star Block. This block requires three fabrics, a light, a medium, and a dark. From two strips that are three and a quarter inch by the width of fabric of the light, cut 14 squares that are three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. I'm cutting through four layers, so I'll make three cuts and then remove one of the strips for the last cut to get my 14 squares. When you're done cutting your squares, set aside four of the squares and then bisect the remaining 10 squares corner to corner to get 20 triangles. I use my four and a half inch square Creative Grids ruler to cut both the squares and to use the 45 degree angle to line up with the edge of my squares to help me cut my corner to corner cut. When I started using this helpful trick, it's really improved the accuracy of my cuts. From a three and a quarter inch by width of fabric strip of a medium fabric, cut five squares that measure three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. From a dark strip of fabric that is three and a quarter inches by the width of fabric, fold it in half and cut eight squares that measure three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. Bisect each of these stacks of four squares once, corner to corner, to get 16 triangles. Now that we have all of our pieces cut, it's time to sew. Make sure you use quarter inch seam allowances. Piece the light triangles to opposite sides of the medium squares. Don't worry about being perfectly centered. These triangles are a little oversized because we're going to be trimming them up later. Just get it as close to centered as you can. Now that I've got the first side sewn on, I could go to the ironing board and press right now, but I'm going to wait until both sides are sewn on to reduce my trips to the ironing board. Using the same technique, we are going to sew dark triangles to the light squares. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll find mystery quilts, tutorials, block of the months, unboxings, and more. Make sure to check it out. Now it's time to press. For the units with the medium square and the light triangles, you want to press towards the medium fabric. For the units that have the light square with the dark triangles, you want to press toward the dark triangles. Now it's time to add the triangles to the other sides of the square. The beauty of this block is that it's just two variations of a four inch block alternated in a nine patch setting. I think it would be gorgeous made from scraps, each block made from three different fabrics, but all the blocks different. 
It will also be easy to scale up or down to a different size because you start with squares that are all the same size. It'd be a fun one to play with. Once you've added the last set of triangles and cut them apart, trim off the extra bits with a scissors or with your rotary cutter. We hope that you will hit that like button, leave a quick comment about the video, share the video with your quilting friends, and most importantly, subscribe so that you can see all of the future Celebrating the States blocks. Now it's time to press before we trim these blocks down to size. For both of these units, you're going to press towards the triangles. Now it's time to trim these units to four and a half inches. I like to use my four and a half inch square ruler and line the points of that inner square up on my two and a quarter inch lines. So I'm gonna have it lined up top to bottom on the two and a quarter inch line and side to side on the two and a quarter inch line. Then I'm gonna trim two sides. I'll flip the block over and trim the other two sides. Once all of the blocks have been trimmed to four and a half inches by four and a half inches, it's time to take them over to your sewing machine and lay them out in a nine patch grid. You will have five pieces that have the medium in the center and four pieces that have the light in the center. When sewing these squares together, I tried to alternate the direction of the seams to reduce bulk. As I sent each new set of two through the sewing machine, I would check the seam of the set right before it. That way I knew that when I sew the rows together, those would also alternate in the end. We hope you'll consider joining our Facebook group called The Quilted Forest Friends. We'll provide a link in the description below. When you finish your blocks, you can share pictures of them and see what others have made. Once your rows are sewn together, take it to the ironing board and press toward the units with the dark triangles. If your seams are being a little uncooperative, use the spray starch to help them lay a little bit flatter. Only two seams left. As you sew the rows together, the seam should nest together and fit perfectly. You can pin if you want to, but hopefully it won't be necessary. Mm -hmm. 
Once you are done sewing your rows together, it's time to take it to the ironing board for one last time. I pressed my seams towards that middle row. Can you believe we are one fifth of the way through the 50 states for our Celebrating the States block of the month? It's been fun so far. I hope you've been keeping up with your blocks. I made a few alternate blocks for this one. One where I had the medium fabric and the dark fabric both as part of the triangles for the star points. And then one where I just used two fabrics and alternated them. I think they both look fantastic and I hope you enjoyed today's block. Thanks for watching. We appreciate your support and happy quilting.